Hello once again, Jose Rodriguez here. We are going to take the plunge and perform this experiment because I need to find out how much more liquid can I actually pack inside one of these. This is the XP15000 maintenance box or cartridge. And so this is the one that I just removed. I replaced it with a compatible version of it and it accepted it and it is empty we're going to go ahead and weigh these two this is brand new unused this is the one that was at 80 percent and the instructions for the resetter which is right here say that you should reset that cartridge before it reaches at least less than 85 percent so right now it's about 80 percent this is only visually gauging it so it might be actually less than that and so we're going to go ahead and weigh them. I'll take a close-up of the scale to show you the weights. And that will tell you how many grams of actual ink went into this already 80% used cartridge. So let's bring the camera up close and we'll take a peek. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. I hope you can read the numbers. It'll zero itself out. It's reading 0, 0.0 right now. So this is the unused one. It still has the untampered seal on it. We're going to pop it on there. It reads 41.8 grams. Now we're going to weigh the one we just removed and it reaches 51.7. So it's just under 10 grams of ink. All right. All right. So the goal of this experiment is to find out whether if I was to let that go to full, let's say another 10, 15 percent more, Maybe it would add another 3, 4 ml of ink, maybe grams of ink that is, and we might end up with a so-called declared full cartridge that only has 15 ml of ink, of waste ink in it. And I'm thinking, is that really enough to uh, cause an overflow? If we were to reset it once and then reuse it, can we get a second run? Can we get a third run? Who knows? We're going to remove the lid. And I'm going to directly inject water through the inlet port and we're going to find out exactly when I begin to see ink being saturated to the top of the sponge. So I'm going to remove the cap and then we'll set the uh, syringe up. We'll get up close again and we'll proceed with injecting 10 ml at a time until we reach say 30 full ml or grams of ink internally. We will weigh it. It should weigh 31, 41. 51 and 61 grams so let's 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 shoot for that and see if we can uh, be successful i hope so at least get one more run out of it and that would be awesome all right let's bring the camera up close all right so this is the heavy one let's make sure we have the right one yes 51.7 we'll put the unused unit back here safely out of the way and this is the cap that we need to remove and there are some little tabs right here. It's a little bit difficult to do. Um, maybe I can modify these cartridges to make it a little bit easier in the future. But if we can get like triple life out of this, you might only have to do this once every year and a half or so. So as you can see, it pries off like that. So we're going to go ahead and do this and then pop it up a little bit. Now I'm going to use my secondary screwdriver here to lever it up. And we'll see what we get. Hopefully we'll be able to remove this. Whoop. As you can see, it's a little bit touchy. Oh, you can see some ink in there. Wow, I was not expecting to see red ink. Wow, <laughs> amazing. Let me get my screwdriver that I dropped. Again, do this slowly. Do this on a table. Top a little bit more convenient than what I have here at this point. You know, somewhere where you can work comfortably. Again, you got to make sure you pop these out to the side. We'll use this other screwdriver here. Pop this section out and there we go. And we have removed it. Well, not quite yet. Again, like I said, it's a little bit tricky. Here's a tab right here. We need to undo that. 
if I can stick the screwdriver in there, you need a nice small flat bladed screwdriver and hopefully we will not break a tab because we need to be able to reinsert these back when we are done with the process. So again, take your time. Don't try to do it like I'm doing here. I'm trying to hurry up, hurry the process up and it's a little bit difficult to do. And again, like I said in my previous video, this might not be something that everyone would like to do. Okay, so we have, as you can see, we have some ink. We have red. I don't know why there's so much red ink in there. And we're going to go ahead and inject because right now, this is pretty dry. Actually, it's not even wet. So we want to inject through the port and see at what point does it sort of begin to saturate that surface. We want to be able to inject at least 10. So 10 would be that we get an extra run. So we're going to use my special tip here. You can get these from uh, various refilling companies. Pop it right in and we're going to inject some water. And here we go. We're going to watch to see if any wetness begins to form on the top. Remember, this is the orientation that the cartridge basically lives inside your printer. So at this point, we got 10 ml. So I got one extra run. I know for a fact. Look at that. It's not wet. You see that? We're going to inject the other 10 and see what happens. Slowly. And if this works, I might actually take out the uh, pads and wash them myself and reuse them. Okay, that's a full 20 ml. And I am still not getting my finger stained. So let's get another load and see what we can do here. Again, this is all an experiment. This has never been done before, folks. I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead slowly. And I'm looking at the edges here to see if I begin to see any kind of a flow of liquid. I'm going to keep touching it with my hands. That's 10 more, so that would be two more runs after the first reset. Okay, that is 40 ml of ink. Let's weigh this, baby. Let me put the little cap on top, just for accuracy. We are at 90.3 grams. Wow. Well, let's keep going. So that would be already, we have uh, four more resets. That is crazy. Four more resets. And again, keep in mind, this is the orientation that the cartridge would be presented to you. I'm beginning to see a little bit of moisture popping up. I got a little dribble of uh, dirty ink here. Let's go ahead and continue. That is 10 more. So clearly, folks, uh, okay, that's it. We filled this cartridge with basically six more loads. I'm beginning to see wetness. Look, look at my finger. It's wet. So six more loads of water. What that would be ink. Let's go ahead and weigh this bad boy. We are zero zero. We'll put the uh, lid back on top. 109.3 grams. All right, so let's just say, to be safe, five resets and catch it always around 80%. That way you will never truly overflow your cartridge. It will not oversaturate. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove these pads in my sink and see if I can wash them out. I've tried to aspirate liquid. Let me see if I can do that. Let's see if that'll work. No. 
You see that? It will not aspirate liquid. So I'm going to have to remove the pads. I'm going to use a flat bladed type um, ruler here to help me remove them without really destroying them. I want to see if I can wash them. It's going to be a mess. I know. And uh, we'll get back to you. So thank you again. At least now I know for sure I can at least get four. And if I push it, I can get five full resets out of a single cartridge. I don't know how well the so-called compatibles will do, but I know that my OEM one is able to be reset at least four times. I was hoping for just three. And so now I know I can actually fill it to five. Basically, you get six full runs, the original one, plus five resets. I'm going to cut it back to five full runs. That will be a little bit safer, and we will not have to ever worry about any kind of uh, overflow. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. We'll see you the next time. Happy printing, happy refilling, and happy modifying these cartridges. Again, it will save you, at least in this case, we're talking about $50. Bye-bye, everybody.